Yo, what is up, guys? It's your boy Chance back at it again with another uh, video. You feel me? Um, this one's gonna be a little different. I'm trying to make my channel more diverse, not just towards KC, but I'm still gonna react to them. But I'm gonna be reacting to um, scary animation. Well, a scary animation. Sorry, my voice is a little bit raspy. A little bit of raspy? No, it's a little bit raspy because I just woke up. But by the time you've seen it, it's probably gonna be like nighttime or something. So, yeah. So, without no further ado, what we're gonna be reacting to is a creepy night shift story two animated. Is there a story one? <laughs> Did I miss that? It was around three years ago. I was 17 years old and I worked at the local library in my city. The library was located in the middle of the city but was totally abandoned in the evenings. I only worked in the evenings when all the older staff had already gone home. My colleague and I were the only one left there that night. As it was the day before Christmas and a blizzard was going on outside, not one single customer inhabited the building. My colleague Thomas was down at ground level while I was sitting at my desk on the top level. Normally, I would take the time to study, but it was the holidays and I was completely bored to death. The library was recently renovated, so I could look outside through the big windows that they had put up. I mostly looked at the blizzard going on, thinking about my bike ride home. It was a dark December evening and the snow was piling up. I just really wanted to go home. Okay, my dude, it's a blizzard going on and you still finna ride your bike home so i guess nobody give a f about this nigga he can't call nobody use that phone a friend this is homie can't do that he gotta ride his bike home in a blizzard it's really snowy out there tom what do you say we close up early no one's gonna show up anyway over <laughs> your jokes are funny over <laughs> Just 10 minutes before like, we closed, okay. I heard some people coming up the stairwells. It was some kind of family, one man and a woman with two girls. When they came through the door... Okay, look, bro. If I was working at the library, and I seen some people in some 18th century fashion wear, whatever the f they wearing, and I know ain't no normal nigga in their right mind finna wear some high-ass pants. I'm talking about flooding to the knee, my nigga. High-ass socks. And this lady showing all her cleavage and it's a blizzard outside. But nigga, I'm not finna think I'm not finna think these niggas normal. <laughs> I'ma say either either I'm seeing stuff, hallucinogenics, hallucinogens, or it's some weird ass serial killer type us people walking around this <laughs> real talk, I'm not finna have it. I'm decking. Each uh, including the kids. Fa 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 all four of them going to sleep that night. I immediately saw that they weren't ordinary. Look the at their eyes. The man had a pale, almost white face and wore red lipstick. What nigga wear makeup, the woman bro? was also completely this... pale. Well, they all wore clothing like they used up. to be in the 17 or 1800s. I just had my history exam, so I recognized it immediately. While I walked towards them, I saw that they were looking around as if they were lost. Can I help you folks? I asked them. They looked at me with big eyes, if I was talking Chinese. I almost thought about bailing, but as we just had a meeting about customer satisfaction... Nigga, you should have bailed. Phone. Forget customer satis... Satis... Can't even talk, bro. Forget customer satisfaction, my dude. Forget that stuff. All that stuff went out the door when them niggas walked in the door. Real talk. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. These are gonna be some dissatisfied customers tonight. Again, a bit louder. Can I help you folks? They now all looked at me with a big smile and large eyes. I was totally creeped out and I didn't really know what to do anymore. Run! If I can help you, I'll be at my desk, I said, and I quickly walked away. When I was at my desk, I could still see the family just standing there, doing absolutely nothing. Uh, Tom, have you seen this family that just came in? Over. No. No one's come through the entrance. You good? Over. Now I was even more creeped out. When I looked up, I saw the man walking towards me. Uh-uh. 
uh -oh. from the inside, I could almost cry, but I did my best not to show it. The man stood in front of me with his pale face and called out something in a language I couldn't understand. It sounded like English, but it sort of wasn't. I couldn't make out anything. I looked down at my computer to make it look like I was searching, hoping he would just take off. When I finally looked up, nobody was there. My nigga, this nigga, I don't know. Either he's smart, my nigga, or this nigga is dumb as hell. Nigga, you just seen four ghosts. Not one, not two, not three, but four of them home, bro. The whole floor was abandoned again. I did a quick sweep of the floor, but I found nobody. As if they just vanished. Just then, my colleague came up the stairs, and I told him what happened. He didn't believe me, and I thought I was trying to scare him. Luckily, there were security cameras in the library, so we could just watch what happened, right? After we closed the library, we went to the security office in the building and looked at the footage cameras. from earlier that evening. That right what I saw then was the creepiest thing ever. I was talking to nobody. The whole family wasn't on the screen. Now, nigga, you look crazy. You finna send Joe ass to a psychiatric hospital. And you finna be in that Scrapped up, nigga. I'm not talking about strapped up. I'm talking about scrapped up. They finna have you in that boat with a stray jacket on, talking to yourself on, on, on medicine that you don't need. That's how, that's how it usually goes in all the scary movies. It was just me talking to myself. Well, that's it, guys. <laughs> That's wrap over. Look at that. <laughs> but if you guys like this video, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, go ahead, comment down below, yes or no. Maybe so. All criticism or is creative criticism in my book. Uh, I can't talk. I'm trying to talk too fast. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Share it. Family, friends, comment, like, subscribe. Subscribe, please, subscribe, please, subscribe. And uh, you already know that's your boy. Let's go. Just trying to get my purpose straight, girl. Don't give my shit away.